Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome back to the My Player Career Mode. We have just touched down in Spain to take the next step in my career with Real Sociedad in La Liga. I'm still only a 72, 71 rated striker. I'm a third choice striker if that. I do not expect that I will get much game time here, but I just could not turn down 20k a week in a European team that could potentially fight and get some pretty good things going for it. I just, I had no choice. I had to take this opportunity. I don't know how the rest of this season is going to go for me, how much game time I am indeed going to get. I just hope I get my opportunities to show my worth. But this is my new home, the Real Seguros Stadium. I can't wait to play my first game here, and I can't wait to get my first goal here. But off we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have arrived, touchdown in Spain. We will be playing for Real Sociedad for, I imagine, the remainder of this season. There are still some questions that are yet to be answered, of course, like, for example, how much game time I'm going to get with only being a 71 rated player. And when you look at some of the other strikers in the team, it doesn't look promising, but I was coming into this team as what would have been the third choice striker. They've got John Batista, who's one overall higher than me, but I wasn't talking about him. Alexander Isaac is the highest rated striker at 79 overall. We're about the same age, so I imagine he'll get way more game time than I will. But they also had Willian Jose before I joined, and I think he must have been sold in this window. So I've gone from being the third choice striker to the second choice striker, and I think I might actually have a bit of a chance to get a little bit more game time and to play more matches than I originally probably would have at this club. So I might not look to loan away uh, myself immediately. Instead, I'm going to stick around and just sort of see how things go uh, for at least the first month. Uh, maybe if I have not played a single game throughout the transfer window, maybe I might reconsider, but still looking at some of the top players in this team, you've got Oyazabal as well as Porto, uh, Odegaard, Ilaramendi, Geronimo Rulli is a really good goalkeeper, but he's loaned away, which is interesting. And then, yeah, other good players, Mikel Marino too. It's a solid, solid team, you know. And for us to, if you saw the ladder only a few moments ago, for them to be, you know, in a potential relegation battle, it surprises me. I know La Liga is super tough and people sometimes don't give it enough credit, but damn, we're going to hopefully go and uh, get ourselves a little higher up the table. Alexander Isaac's only scored one goal in 18 appearances, as you saw there. Uh, yeah, so I'm hoping that with Willian Jose, for whatever reason, gone, Isaac continues his shocking form. But to be expected, we're not going to get picked for this first game in La Liga since arriving. Villarreal was the opponent, and we ended up getting a 1-1 draw. Again, Alexander Isaac not scoring. It was uh, Christian Porto, I think, the Romanian winger who got it. Advanced on forward to the next game against Real Batiste. And that one, again, we would also not be selected. And I'm not salty about not being selected. I mean, I know my place here. Only being a 71-72 overall player, going up against a 79, nearly 80 rated striker, it's, it's fair enough. But I would like to think, hopefully here, in the Copa de España, that we might be able to get a bit of a run. And we are going to be selected for my first ever game for the club in a cup game, so fair enough. This is when I was expecting to get called up, and I have been given the nod. I'm playing alongside the two best wingers in the team, but if you look at the rest of the side, it's a bit weak. Regardless, I'm just happy to finally make my first cap. We are playing away from home, but it's time to show the manager and everyone what I have got to offer as we take on Real Sporting here tonight. And I'm, I'm intrigued to see how we go with a very heavily rotated team. I mean, hell, did we have some players in there that were below a 50 rating? Uh, at least I'm put right alongside the two best wingers in the team. Maybe that's a bit of a sign that the manager's thinking, well, how does this front three actually look if they were to play all together? So, I don't know. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that that might be a good sign. But either way, I need to make sure I have a good performance myself as we are kicked off. In the first opening minutes of this game, I have a pop from way downtown that ends up getting deflected. No surprises there. I was hoping I could have stepped into that shot a little bit better, but just a little uh, knock off the side of the hip there. The cross in that was well headed, but saved by the goalkeeper. First 20 minutes or so, or for the first half really, we were really doing a lot of damage as we were coming closer and closer 
to hopefully opening up the scoring and for maybe me getting a goal on debut. That would be magnificent as that one just sails wide. But I've had a few efforts now. I'm getting close. Haven't been able to get a chance myself as they cut it back for me. I had a defender come and meet me. So we give it off one more time. And Lopez put that one wide. I was just trying to do the unselfish thing. But in behind once more. Looking for the cutback. Could shoot this myself, but instead we'll slide it across. Back in for Lopez. This time it's a tap-in, and we have our first assist. Of course we would get the assist before getting the goal. The maestro striker that I am. But we opened the scoring right before the end of half time. Thank God. We have a little bit of time left. As a matter of fact, we're way past it. I try a low-driven cross. It doesn't come to much. We're still going to keep it, though. The shot from Lopez blocks into the path of myself, and I stick it in for my first ever goal for Real Sociedad. And now we have a two-goal lead going in a half time. What a perfectly timely goal, and that was just being in the right place at the right time. I can give an assist. I can be a maestro, but I've also got those striker characteristics about me, too. Being in the right spot when I need to be. Very well put away from a tight angle. The manager loves it. He's given me the applaud. It's lovely to see. We've got an assist and our first ever goal on debut. And we're only 45 minutes into this contest. I've already done more in 45 minutes than Alexander Isaac's been able to do for the whole season. Surely, surely I've got to start getting some attention as two blocks made there. Thankfully, keep us... Uh, at 2 0. We see Man Odegaard, who was on the bench for this game, now coming on. So, very exciting to be playing alongside him as well as some other really good names. Approaching the end of this half, though, and the end of this game, we tried to find a way to snatch one more goal if it was possible. That one just went a little bit wide. But the first game of my career in Spain, my first Real Sociedad match, even if it is only a cup game, it's not a La Liga game, it's a goal and an assist on debut i think i'd like to say that's a fairly good impression and that hopefully we're going to start giving the manager a little bit of a headache when it comes to player selection even though i may be so much lower overall but regardless mallorca is the next game up and then after that the very next game in the copa de España against valencia do i get picked for my first la liga game after what i thought was a pretty good performance unfortunately no is the answer. Thankfully, we do get it done. A 2 0 win. Again, Isaac has been substituted without scoring. There's another guy on the team called Wagner, the number nine, who I think might actually be a new a new signing because obviously, as we saw before, there are no there was no striker called Wagner. So I can only assume that uh, they must have just signed him as a maybe replacement or something. But we saw an injury there for Nacho Monreal, which was not ideal. Advancing to the next cup, uh, cup game against Valencia, I still wasn't picked. I get that Valencia are much tougher opponents, and yeah, it looks like they played a pretty strong team for that one, but unfortunately we went out 4-5 four, five, uh, uh, four, five on penalties, and very disappointing, and I was thinking, gosh, am, I'm really not going to get that many games, am I? So I at least decided to request a loan, and just see, maybe, who knows, what uh, what's out there, what who would offer me potential loans. And I did get an offer before the end of the window, and you wouldn't believe it, it was for another A-League club. So, I'd essentially secure the bag with... <laughs> I would secure the bag with uh, Real Sociedad, get on a 20k a week wage, and then go right back to the A-League. But if it wasn't for Adelaide United, if it wasn't an offer from Adelaide United, I probably wasn't going to do it. I, I would never dare cheat my local club and go back to Australia to finish out the season, but for another club, I couldn't do it. Moving on though, out of the transfer window, we are done, we are sticking with Real Sociedad for the rest of the season. And if I don't play too many games, then so be it. I mean, we'll just sort of train ourselves up, get our overall a little bit higher up, and then hopefully we will start, uh, you know, seeing a little bit more increased opportunity. I didn't hit any of my targets, but obviously I didn't barely play any of those games. As a matter of fact, I don't think I even played one of them. So no wonder I haven't hit any of those targets, though hopefully maybe in the next ones coming up, I might fare a little bit better. But once again, another game not selected. Isaac, they're continuing to persist with him when I, he just is not scoring. Again, as a nil-nil draw, I again reach the next game and I'm starting to think maybe I should have gone back to Australia, even if it was to play for Perth, because it's just not happening for me. I sim ahead to the next game against Valencia. I bar, I don't know if we got a great result there, but this was huge. Look at this and the, the timing of the, the injury, a two-month injury, and for who? Alexander Isaac is gone. And I have been selected for the next game because, of course, I guess the 
um, the refs really got no choice, or the umps, what am I saying, the bloody managers really got no choice. Isaac gone for two months, he probably will return before the end of the season, but this now means I am going to be playing my first La Liga game, and it's against Valencia. I thought I'd be playing Valencia way before in that cup game, but no, I didn't get selected for it. Now we play our first La Liga match. We're currently sitting 13th place with a, you know, pretty respectable goal difference. And we've really done well since I've got here, regardless of the fact that I haven't exactly played all too much. But looking through the lineup of this Real Sociedad team, a fairly strong one. That midfield's pretty decent. Min uh, Marino, Ilaramendi, and of course Odegaard. And that front three too. Obviously, I'm quite off the pace when it comes to the overalls of Oyarzabal and, uh, and Portu, but still regardless, we are off. We kick this thing off, and can I, just like I did in my club debut, get myself a goal on debut as well in La Liga. That would be magnificent. We get bumped into and taken out as we try to bridge kick past the back line. Man uh, Mandy's going to get himself a yellow card there, which is quite frustrating. I thought I could have been away. The save was parried straight to a Valencia player. Thankfully, our fullback was able to cut it off and just about head it away. We started, like, relatively dangerously in the first 10 or 15 minutes, but then Valencia ended up taking control. Rodrigo was able to get past his defender. For my liking, just a little too easily there. I was not a big fan of that. Uh, but he got through and just powered it in at the near post. So that meant that they took a 1-0 lead going into halftime, which was frustrating. If I was able to get past that defender, instead of getting just bumped off the ball like that, then... Maybe, who knows, I could have set myself up for my first. But either way, we would grow into the game, of course, in the second half. That's a brilliant through ball to send me away. I've got a man at the back stick. It requires a pinpoint cross. We opt for it. It's perfect. And the volley is saved. But put into the path of Oyazabal. And the man that has been carrying this team, even before I got here, continues to do so with a great little goal, of course, fortuitous, with the save being put right into his path. But he puts it away and grabs a much-needed goal. His 11th of the season, he really is their main man in this team, and I'm trying to hopefully give him a little bit of help here as we try to knock on by, put it into the path of Oyazabal again, who has another kick and another shot at it. Actually, I don't think that was him. Regardless, moving on, the shot was saved and then hit the post. How unfortunate. Trying to find a way to get the lead in this game. Our first real attempt of the day. It's a bit of a weaker effort that just sadly floats over the top of the crossbar. 77th minute. They whip a ball in the header. Comes off of the post. Bounces back into the path of Gomez. And he puts that about as high up into the top corner as you possibly could have imagined. I think this has hit the crossbar and then the far post and gone in. Unbelievable. That header just... Bouncing off of the post so kindly, but I guess our goal came after a shot was parried into the path of Oyazabal, so fair enough. But look at that! That is about as high up in the top corner as it can get. Maximiliano Gomez gives Valencia back the lead. We'd run out of time, really, to get a goal back ourselves. We were just trying desperately to get the ball back, but our defenders running around like headless chickens got absolutely no clue where they're supposed to be. Not threatening to win the ball back at all. And Gomez would get a brace and pretty much seal the game. In our first La Liga game, we sadly are going to go down to, on paper, I guess, a better side. But it's a 3-1 defeat. Unfortunate. No assist. No goal. Which is, is disappointing, I suppose. But, um, you know, far from the end of the world. Even Odegaard picked up an injury. We're really starting to rack them up, aren't we? Thankfully... This one is, you know, far from as bad as it could be. The next game, though, however, would be against Real Valladolid, who are a much, much lower-rated team in the La Liga table. So I rated my chances. Maybe this could be the first chance for me to get my goal or even my assist at this point. Again, I think we'd be playing in front of our home crowd. So fingers crossed again, we can have a big performance in, in our own stadium, in front of our own fans, and hopefully we can... Uh, I don't know, give a little bit of support to Oyazabal and actually have him not be the only guy in the team that either has to get an assist or a goal. I really want to show that I can be a good option and that I belong in front of Isaac. But I'm chasing this defender all the way back. You just see how my fullbacks are just not giving a shit. None of my defenders. And after a while, I'm just like, no, what am I doing? I'm getting a bad rating for getting out of position. Screw this. Why am I doing your job for you? I try to get a through ball and get a bit of power on it. That doesn't really work out. I'm just... Not exactly getting the service in this first half. I play a beauty of a ball in for Porto there. His cross just doesn't really find anyone either. And it was a lack of service 
not really able to send even my own players away, which was quite frustrating. I was just hoping that we'd come into the half clean. Again, the defending is a bit sketchy. We're right there, but we're not making the tackles. Ball in! And I thought for sure that was going to end up in. It might have been just a very good save on Ben Arthur, who may have actually been offside anyway. But right before the end of the half, a good little shifting of the feet. Poor two on the far side. Oyazabal is going to slip me in. Anyone there to cut it back to? No, we just go for the shot ourselves. I take it with my right foot when I honestly at the time wanted to take it with my left. Maybe try to slot it in at the far post, but or even try to smash it in near post. But it didn't happen. It just oh, it's a fr frustrating... 45 minutes where I couldn't really get it all to go. 50 minutes though, and only five into the second. We'd hopefully set something up for Ilara Mendy, who smashed it, or tried to smash it past Massive. But that was a fantastic save. A cross in, a volley from a very awkward angle. My back was basically turned to the goal. Got pretty good contact on it, but uh, yeah, would just soar over the crossbar. Imagine somehow if that one went in, that would be insane. Uh, running out of time, 65th minute, a foul on the edge of the box. I am not on set-piece duty like I was at Adelaide United. Understandable. The cross at the back stick, and who else? Oyazabal again. He is scoring every single goal it feels right now for us. Even in the sim games, even in real games that we're playing as well. He is just popping up and scoring them all. Even as a target man at the back stick when he's not the tallest bloke on the pitch. He is insane. We though hopefully find a way to grab a second on the wing, looking to cut it back in or cross it back in. We play it one more time in, in the middle, and there is the goal that should surely seal it just before 10 minutes or a little after. We have 15 minutes left to go in this game. We now take the lead, or take, should I say, breathing space in this game. We end up getting substituted off pretty much immediately after that goal for Sandro Wagner, who I actually end up having a look a little later on in the... Uh, in the, in the episode, and I swear Wagner is actually a higher rated striker than I, and yet I'm starting ahead of him, which is, is intriguing, but regardless, it's a win, finally our first La Liga victory, I am still yet to provide my first goal or my first assist, and only one of the targets I've hit of maintaining a average rating of above six, but if I'm not doing that, then that is shocking. My next targets though, and my next few games, are massive. Barcelona. I am playing against Barcelona at the Camp Nou. I cannot believe only a few months ago, I was a wonder kid coming up from the youth academy at Adelaide United, and now I'm facing Messi in the Camp Nou. What an unbelievable story and shift my career has taken. It is Barcelona, one of the biggest clubs in the world. It is the Camp Nou and the team that currently occupy top spot in La Liga with Real Madrid breathing down their necks. This is going to be one of the maddest games, and I'm only like 15, 20 professional games into my career. I cannot believe what has gone on. But either way, you see that team, it's ridiculous. Dembele, Messi, and my opposing striker today is Luis Suarez. I cannot believe the circumstances that have led me here. From being a third-choice striker to now starting a game against Barcelona, I have got to make an impression. If I have a big game today, that'll really open up a lot of eyes. I tell you what, the cross comes in. It's going to be cleared by Roberto. Not as far back again to Porto, who cannot or cannot cross it back in. It is blocked. 30 minutes in, we, are, we had the odd chance here or there. Barcelona were getting forward with ease, but they're finishing in their like final 10% was not really on point. The cross in here, though, for Dembele. Just about keeping it in. Looking to cut it across to Suarez, who had a shot from in the six-yard box. But somehow we got something on it, and somehow we were able to stop it from going in right before halftime. We're in a dangerous spot here. We cut it back. I wanted it to go to Odegaard. Didn't pick him out, but we got it to him anyway. And we take the lead against Barcelona. I do not know how it didn't think I was trying to pass to Odegaard. Somehow I put a little too much power on it. It finally got to the man I intended to get to anyway. He scores. I don't get the assist for it. So I am still without a goal or an assist. But regardless, who cares? We've taken the lead against Barcelona. I nearly got an assist there, but to Stegen coming out and grabbing it. Leroy Sane apparently had joined Barcelona, so that's a big move for them. Messi playing a ridiculous, immaculate ball in for Luis Suarez, and somehow that's gone through. I think it must have gone through the keeper's legs, 
But Messi with a ridiculous ball, no surprise. That is unreal to go through the legs like that. Just so unfortunate. My goodness. Uh, uh, very, very frustrating. Bumped up forward though. Headed down. It's not really found a target, but Odegaard with a great tackle. And we're in. We are in. Being chased by Busquets. Could this be my first La Liga goal against Barcelona? Oh my goodness. My first La Liga goal comes against Barcelona in the Camp Nou only a few months ago. I was playing in Australia. Look at this. What a unbelievable career. What a story. It's only getting started, but this will go and reach every single headline in the world. What an unbelievable couple of months in my young career. We are now leading against Barcelona, and with a few minutes left to go, we could potentially hold on for a huge win here today. Sane on the wing. I'm holding it back. I'm really not, you know, uh, getting back and defending, but I figured, ah, oh, stuff it. Who cares about bad ratings? We need bodies in the box right now to stop it. The cross comes in. It's dangerous, and what a save from our goalkeeper, keeping us in the lead. Unreal stop. We get substituted off. A tactical sub, fine by me. But I now have to watch. Sandro Wagner comes on. And the man that I was substituted on clearing it away. We're now three minutes past. Surely there's no chance. Surely there's no time. And we secure a huge three points against Barcelona. And we score the winning goal. Absolutely unbelievable. Give credits to Odegaard. He was the one that won it back in a very great position for us. Horrific for Barca. Horrific for that man, Messi. Real Madrid now take the lead in La Liga. But look at us, though. We, who were in like, oh, 16th, 15th place when we joined, up to 9th place now. A complete U-turn in this season. And that is just unreal. That's the 10th win of my career. And only 15 appearances I have made in my career. Starting off as a, like, arguably second-choice striker at Adelaide United 15 games later, I score a winning goal against Barcelona. I have probably got the most craziest first season in, in terms of where I started to where I finished. I, I can't believe it. And like I mentioned before with Sandro Wagner, a recent signing in in the last transfer window, he is higher rated than me at 77, but I am still, regardless, starting ahead of him from time to time. It, it's crazy. I mean... I'm sure he'll eventually play a game ahead of me at some point, and then when Isaac comes back, maybe my game time might get reduced. But if I'm scoring winning goals against Barcelona, why the hell wouldn't I keep getting picked? It's it's mad. It's, it's insane. I'm sure I continue to have the eyes of the world and Twitter blowing up about my insane story. And it's only still getting started because this was the third episode of the My Player Career Mode. Till the next one, people. Have a good one. Episode 4 will hopefully take a lot less time than it took for this one to come out. But thank you all again so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until the next one, have a good one. My name is Master Bucks. Catch you later and bye-bye.